Hello everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today in this video, we are gonna be talking about Ruxy's Tycoon Kit. Now, he actually wanted me to make this video and talk about some frequently asked questions. Um, so if you are some developers out there that may have some questions about this Tycoon Kit and um, want them answered, I'm gonna be doing a few questions in this video and uh, I'll put them on screen right now so you can see what questions I'm actually doing. So if they're part of you, feel free to just look at them. But um, yeah. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new, everybody, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. Um, now, um, also, if you want, you can join the Discord in the description. Uh, we do host giveaways and everything. Um, we're almost at 3,000, you know, we're getting there. So, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I've just been really busy, you know, holidays, school, work, everything like that. So, um, I do have a lot of short form content coming, but um, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to hop straight into this and I hope I do answer all these questions correctly for you. But um, I do have a little, you know, thing right here I can look into. But um, yeah, so let's go on and uh, answer all these questions. All right. So I'm going to go on and just do from easiest to hardest, you know, kind of might as well. Um, so the first one is how to duplicate the tycoon. Now, this is somewhat simple, actually. It's uh, not really hard at all. Um, you're actually just going to go to this tycoon folders and you're just going to see this and you're just going to hit control D. Um, now what control D is going to do, it's going to duplicate it. Now you can't do copy and paste, but that would have actually posted up here, but you don't want that. You want to just, you know, have the same, uh, X value or whatever. And, you know, just move it around, make it look like it's right there. You know, it's all good. Um, that should be good right here for us. And so once you have that, you're actually going to want to name this. So this is going to be the team name. So make sure you name this correctly. So I'm going to go factory two like that. Might as well. And the drop color, I want it to be green. I'll just do lime green. And this is where you're going to want to make sure you change the team color. Because this is going to how it's going to make sure you have different teams and different tycoons. I'm going to do red. So that's about it. You know, all I got to do is that. And then, um, you know, you can just hit, you can just hit play here or whatever. Um, and it should just load in for you. And, um... Let's see, I'll just show you. Again, yep, we got factory two. I'll hit unclaim real quick. I think it already has um, auto teams on, which I'll just have to turn off later. But um, yeah, the new over here, factory one. So duplicate tycoons should be working. And that's about it for this one. Let's go answer the next question. All right, so this is just a little basic question right here. Um, he asked, you know, when is it allowed to use the kit? Um, so Rexy said, you know, I developer, um, one account that has edit perms to the place. So as in saying, you know, if you're the developer of the place, needs to own the kit or the game will get manually disabled so by that he means you know you one person needs to own the kit if they don't own it you know that's that's a dmca or whatever you know you don't own the kit um reselling a whole game is basically allowed but only to the people who own the kit um and they can't make the kit public or anything like that so basically what he means is um you know you can give it to another person but as long as they own the kit as well um so they will have to purchase from ruxy if they want to sell their kit you know so um, yeah, so it basically is a public kit. It's just as long as you pay for it. Um, both people, sides pay for it, then that is allowed. Um, so yeah, so I hope that answered your question. All right, so the next question is about how to update the kit. So I don't know how to best explain this to you, but I'm just going to kind of like, I'll, I'll say both. Both. I'm going to explain it, not really show it to you, actually, because I don't. I have the updated version. Um, so basically what he said, actually, and we can just look at this on dev form and the uh, in the chat with him um is he said you will basically need to replace the um so let's let's just look over here so you're in the discord server make sure you know you bought the kit or whatever so to upgrade the kit to a new version you got to move your purchases and buttons folder to the new kit and reconfigure the configuration so like um you want to make sure it's um I'll, I'll show you, let me show you this. Let me, let me just explain this. So we're going to replace the content folder. So let's say I um, downloaded it or whatever. It's going to look this. So you see this content folder right here. This has like all the stuff, um, all the scripts, everything like that. So what you would want to do is in the new kit, which um, is in the Discord actually. So um, I can just show you this, but I mean, it's not bad. But as you can tell right here, you have these. Um, these are the kits. So when you get a new one, which you re he'll release soon probably, you'll basically want to download it. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, insert that model and let's say, so it actually just look like this. Okay. So let's say there's going to be two of them. That's literally what's going to look like. Um, you're going to want to grab the content folder. So I'm going to just make sure I'm doing this right. Um, you're going to want to grab the content folder and 
um, you're going to want to put it into this one and make sure to delete the old one. Now, if you did make changes to the uh, the UI right here, um, you're going to want to make sure, you know, you put that into there and make sure that's uh, different. Um, but so that's about it. So make sure you just change that content folder. And then um, you should compare the new and old settings to see if some things were added. So um, that's basically saying, I think, like configuration, um, things like this, make sure, you know, nothing's been changed. I think he'll probably let us know in general, but just for in gen for the main portion, um, just make sure that you replace that content folder and that should update it for you. Um, but then if there is something wrong, you're most likely just have an issue with one of these. Um, and if you really did change a lot of stuff, you guys, I'd really recommend, honestly, just let's say like this is your the new kit right here. You would want to just go into your tycoon and just grab this and put it into the other tycoon and, and delete this old one and do that. And then if you have something with the UIs, like he said, super easy to just go into your old one and just drop it into here and make sure you get rid of the other ones like this and then delete it. So, you know, not, nothing too crazy about that. Um, I'd recommend just, you know, something like that nothing too hard but yeah so let's uh go on to the next question okay so for the next one he was talking about how you can make income uh sorry how you can make income god what am i looking at right here yeah income based tycoons so uh, this is kind of a little different question so you know how like a lot of tycoons you know it's like okay buy this and it will start generating you five cash per minute so Rexy made it so you don't have to exactly do it that way you don't have to have a dropper so what you would want to do is so let's say we have dropper two right here okay let's just duplicate this okay and what we would do is let's just move it like that just perfect like that and we're gonna name this drop okay and we're actually going to see how it's just decoration we're just going to remove it just remove all it you know keep that folder right as well i don't know if that breaks anything but you're going to see this drop right here so i would you know put this right here and set the transparency to one and then in dropper config so you see how it says show drop you're going to want to set this to false what that is going to do basically is it's literally going to just make it income based so like you're just gonna start getting drops like people won't see them and it'll like literally be going into the conveyor and into here so make sure though yeah so make sure um uh it will wait oh yeah if to say will this drop it would just give the owner cash instead of spawning apart okay so i think i didn't notice that so i think basically what it's going to do is just it would just give you money so it's actually you don't even need to worry if it's on the conveyor i just did that because i thought that was what it's doing but um, looks like that's all you got to do. So what that does is it will basically make it income based and then make sure, though, um, you know, you want to have a dependency for this, a button. So we would want to go into here. Um, you know, this is dropper one. We'll say this is going to be like, you know, buy in buy or like invest, you know, five invest like cash or something, you know, whatever. So you'd go into here. Um, we want to make the dependency you know object it's going to be the drop and that's all you got to do and dependency um is nope nope delete objects yeah block part so like things like that you can you know do whatever you want um pre required group required we'll look into this stuff in a bit here but um yeah so just make sure that uh this is your uh you know object but that's how you make an income base pretty simple all right so the next question was how can you make a dropper upgrade or a thing upgrade like in general how do you make an upgrade so i actually just made this button and we're gonna test it out <laughs> let's see if i did this right and a lot of people did it right all right that's awesome so oh okay well that's a little weird <laughs> that's so weird oh you know what it's probably because um you know what i know why that other one didn't spawn it's because i have that drop thing i'll have to remove that so it actually just upgraded it as you as you can tell um it didn't you know do anything but as you can tell it did upgrade it changed the color um that's because how that's how i made it um and uh yeah not, nothing special so that's good to know that that works so how to answer this question for you guys is how do you make an upgrade like how do you so i'm gonna just get rid of this drop thing that's why that stupid button was being weird um oh gosh did i fix that i think i did okay so what you're gonna do and I'm, i'll just do it from scratch let's just get rid of this so dropper one upgrade i'll just get rid of this upgrade dropper one so what i'm gonna do let's say we wanted yeah let, let's just do the same one okay 
So let's say you want to upgrade the main clicker dropper. Um, we're going to duplicate it, okay? And we're going to say this is going to be dropper one upgrade. It's just simple. Let's just do that. And to make sure it changes, we're going to go to the gray right here. And we're actually just going to change it opposite of gray. So we're going to just go like, you know, let's go like that. That's, that's cute. All right. So then um, we're actually going to do the dropper config. You want to make sure, you know, it adds an actual, like it makes a difference. So we're going to do five for that. Let's change the money. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the buttons. And as you can tell, we have the dropper one. So this is gonna be the first dropper you're gonna buy and we're gonna duplicate it. And we're just gonna move it like right here. Or you know what, honestly, you could just do that, but I don't want it to be spammed. So we'll just step over here. Um, I'll just put it a little closer. And we're gonna say buy dropper one, or no, uh, buy upgrade for dropper one. Okay, something like that. And we have a few things. Okay, we have the custom, which you can just, you know, leave. And we have the delete objects. And this is the main part. So we're going to want to delete dropper one. So what that's going to do is it actually is just going to get rid of this one that we have right here. This like just gray dropper. And it's going to give us this dropper upgrade. But the only way to do that is by adding a few values. So we're going to go to um, object. And we're going to name this dropper one upgrade. So that's going to make sure we get uh, we get rid of this dropper one and it gives us this one red one right here. So once it does that, um, then we are good. We're pretty much done. But you want to add dependencies. So we're going to make this a string value. Um, and I want to make it, uh, you know, you have to, you. oh yeah, you can only get it after getting dropper one. So we're going to say that. Then we are going to go into the currency cost and you're going to add an int value. And you're going to do... Um, this is going to be set as, uh, let's say, $10. Um, but also, make sure while you do this, I kind of forgot. You got to name this money, and then you got to name this, uh, the, oh, God, dependency. So, dependency, just like that, and then you're good. So, now that should work, and uh, when you play the game, you're going to be able to just, um, you know, get it'll get rid of, it'll buy the first dropper, and then that button will spawn, and then you'll be able to delete the other one. So that's basically getting rid of the old one and adding a new one. So that's the whole ideal of an uh, upgraded dropper. So hope that helped. So the next one was really just kind of how to set up dependency objects and destroy objects. I kind of just showed that in the last one. Um, so I'll just go over it one more time. So tycoons are kind of like this in general. You know, a lot of like this is like an, a Zendov kind of like, you know, format or like my tycoon I had a while ago. Um, and it, it's really the same. You know, you have your essentials, your buttons. I mean, your buttons, essentials, purchase and purchases. So the purchases purchased is um, basically like what what is already purchased it's going to be in this folder we have the essentials which is the stuff that does not get removed so like it always spawns that way so if the uh, kit gets unclaimed it's going to spawn with only so i honestly could just move it and show you if the kit gets unclaimed it's going to look like this this is literally what it's going to look like from the start as you can tell on the basic stuff so um it's it's pretty basic so you want to make sure a button has um a purchase object and if the purchase object doesn't have a button then it's not going to work so um, I'll just go over this one more time. Um, you'll basically go and buy something. So let's just, I, I mean, I can show you, I'm not gonna show you how to make one again because we already did that last one. I'm gonna show you the ideal of it. So colorizer, you know, um, oh, well, you know what? Let's, no, let's just do a normal dropper. So a dropper, you know, you just have the decoration right here, which is just this. Um, and then the drop of course is right here and you have the configs and everything like that. But um, you don't need to worry about it because it's in the purchases. So that's just make sure the name's correct. But you want to make sure for the button, as you can tell, this is buy dropper one um, right here is going to have a few things like currency cost, dependencies, everything like that. Now, buy dropper two has the actual currency cost and dependency. Now, um, as you can tell, see, some of these don't have values and some do. So when you're setting these up, like let's say you really wanted to make this first one. So this is going to cost zero dollars since there's no value in it. So this is the starting one, of course. It's going to cost nothing. Now, let's say you wanted to make it cost something, but you shouldn't, of course, because that's they won't be able to start their tycoon. You're just going to go and search up in value and you're going to add it into here. And this is how you make your thing. And you're going to say money. And then you're going to set that value to how much you want it to cost. So, you know, you can do 100000 or whatever. And then dependency is the same kind of coincidence. So you're going to go string value, though. Um, and you're going to say this is dependency. Oh, gosh. Caps. Dependency like that. God. And we're going to set this to um, 
dropper one, whatever. So how this works is how the dependency works is this button when you step on it. I mean, actually, no, this button is not going to spawn until you get that dropper one or let's say, but you know, we, this is the starter one. So you don't want to do that. But, um, for dropper two, as you can tell, it's going to, Oh no, let's do the button. As you can tell, it's going to wait for dropper one to spawn. So once the person buys dropper one, it's going to spawn this button and show them that they can buy this. Now that's, that's how tycoons work. Um, pretty simple. And then delete objects. This did not have one. So if you want to do that, you can do another string value and it's going to look for that object and you're going to be able to delete it. You know, just, you know, you could do dropper one again, your, your choice. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you just understood that little part. Now we're going to get straight into the last question. All right. So for the last question, you wanted me to talk about the settings in general. So I'm not really going to go over too much. I'm actually just going to show you guys this photo right here. Um, so he specifically says, don't touch this script or like the UI right here, the event wrapper, classes, handler services. Um, or like tycoon spawn or door sign. So really just if you want feel free to um, You know mess with the configs and uh, you know, like purchase and buttons all that stuff He just doesn't like you can don't move anything don't rename anything I'd, I'd say in my opinion um, It's not like you can't edit it, but you know if you know what you're doing, you know, what you're doing that's fine um, but we can just kind of go over all this stuff really like these are um, you know what are gonna be used for config wise um, limitations like they can only have one object value um, every tycoon has to have a different name and team color um, every purchase has to be named differently exactly um, and this talk we just talked about this how to tax the buttons um, how to make your own ui um, you will just want to look at this you know add currencies you can this is a great thing i'm gonna leave this in the description codes everything like that so i'm actually just gonna like um yeah and see he has all these cool systems which is amazing he did such a great job on this you guys oh my gosh happy i found it so configuration wise though um let's say you want to you know change the id sounds you can change them right here um and it's super i wouldn't recommend it honestly but um you know feel free to. Um, so I think I'm good to show you this because these are just settings. Uh, I can't show you the actual code though because uh, that's that's bad. So um, yeah, these are just normal settings. So feel free to mess with them, you know, like false, true. Um, this is just, you know, display name tag, true, data store. Um, you can also change this if you want, you know, you can change it to, you know, tycoon, save, whatever your own name. Um, rebirth. This is a great way of like looking at cost. So honestly, you can mess with these values. Feel free to mess with them. It's nothing bad. Um, now this is really cool. I actually love that he included this local drops. Um, if you set this to false, it'll actually make it so other people can see your drops. I've never known you could really do that. That's really cool. Um, and then I wouldn't recommend changing this. Um, and then, you know, like out, allow unclaimed tycoon, allow claim tycoon, you know, auto claim tycoon. This is the other ones. Um, I'm actually for mine. I'm not going to have this. So I'm going to set it to false or something, you know, um, and other animations right here, which is just amazing. So I don't want to go into depth of, uh, you know, don't want to distribute other stuff. So, you know, functions, I think, yeah, this is, you know, other ways he did it, but I can't really go into all this kind of stuff. Um, you know, config wise though, I think, you know, I think I'm good to put this on the screen though. You know, these are just configs. So like, if you want to put these into, you know, certain things, uh, feel free to like upgrade it or just, you know, upgrade it, you know, change it how you like. So feel free to do that. Um, I, I, that's just normal settings. You really just want to look into it, but tycoon's a tycoon and, um, yeah, so I can't really go in here and change anything. So that's, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I think that's it. All right. Bye everybody.